Hello everyone. It has been a wild day. It has been very self-denial-ish, if you will, because I haven't done anything for me. I woke up, I prayed, I did my podcast, I talked to another person in Catholic ministry, and all day long was kind of focusing on my Catholic Stand article, which was all about the joy of helping others in ministry. Because I remember when I first started my ministry in 2018, I didn't know anybody. I didn't even know my pastor at my church. And here I'm going to go out and try to be this Catholic speaker. What do I do? Where do I even begin? You all know I had to learn everything and was introduced to people. But so many people were so kind and helped out with advice and prayers and guidance and spiritual knowledge. I had secular people, Catholic people, lay people, as well as religious Catholics that were helping me out. Every time I would run into a wall, maybe the 11th hour God would wait, but he would put someone in my way to help me. That's when you know you're doing God's will in ministry, by the way. When you keep moving forward and you keep having the doors open or there's someone there to help you when you're not able to move yourself forward. So today was really all about helping others. And what a great feeling that is. Joy, Jesus, others, then you. And the article that I'm writing has nothing to do about me. It's all about thanking those who've been in my life and who have helped me out along the way and who have become friends and who have helped me with introductions, but also promoting two other ministries that I think is really necessary for this time. And I'm gonna come back in another video to share that information with you because I think it's that important and it has everything to do with our children. But it really got me to thinking, how much have we done for others on this Advent walk? We're very focused on ourselves because that's the only thing we can control, but we can also control the way in which we love others and do things for others, not for us. I think about that when I cook dinner or when I'm not wanting to do something that isn't specifically or selfishly for me. But when you look at how beautiful it is to serve others, not in an abusive slave-like way, but when you choose to love others through your service, that makes it a different type of task, if you will. It makes it a loving, godly, virtuous kind of thing. So when was the last time you've done that? And maybe that becomes one of your bodily mortifications, which by the way, I haven't shared with you what mine are about today. So I will say it's not focusing on me. It's been a very selfless day. I'm not going to work out today because I actually have a little bit of a pain in my hip. And I'm just going to let sit for a day. Um, maybe that six hour cleaning thing that I did yesterday <laughs> irritated something, but I'm not, I'm not putting that mat down and I'm not working out today. However, I did fast. I only had two cups of coffee this morning and I'm dying. Of course, I'm not dying. Like I say, there's plenty of body fat on me to live for quite some time, <laughs> but I am offering that up as well. And last but not least, I'm going to deny the blueberry pie tonight because we have one more piece and I'm not going to have it. Sugar is poison to me. And even when I had the, the pie yesterday, if you listened to my podcast this morning, you, I think you heard, I don't know, I had some recording issues with my podcast this morning, so I'm not quite sure what made the final cut, but you may have heard that I had the blueberry pie with ice cream last night and I absolutely loved it. And I did feel no guilt. I enjoyed every beautiful forkful and i know that we have one more piece that we're splitting tonight because we put the other half in the freezer and i just don't think i want it because i woke up this morning feeling bloated and feeling kind of weighed down i mean i kind of have had puffy eyes all day i actually went down to say hi to my husband because i was up in my room on phone calls and doing you know my article and all that stuff he looks at me and goes oh it looks like you got a nap <laughs> I'm like, no, I didn't get a nap. I've been up there working with the glasses and the computer and the wear on your eyes. But it was also just inflammation. Sugar is not good for the body. 
I woke up completely different than I have over the last bunch of days. Pay attention. That's what it's about. Learning and understanding, wait a minute, while that may have tasted good, the, the, the payment at the end, which was just not feeling good today, and it could have actually even contributed to what's going on in my hip. I don't know. I do not know. So that's what I'm not going to do again tonight. It's not worth the blueberry pie and the ice cream that, what, five minutes of, mm, this is great for like all day being sluggish and bloated and a hip pain. <laughs> if we just looked at all of our temptations and the thing that the things that rule us, maybe we would also come to the conclusion that sometimes those temptations are stupid, which by the way, go ahead and check out that that YouTube video I have. Just search Kendra Von Esch, Temptations Stupid, should probably come up. Also, by the way, I wanted to let you know that the Eucharistic Summit, I have the playlist for all of the speakers that I'm including in the description here. So in case you haven't seen it in the past or you didn't register, you can watch all of the speakers for free and forever because I don't think they're taking it down. So yay! And then you can pass that along and be that disciple and make disciples and iron sharpens iron and just passing along the beautiful faith that we have because we need to, and we need to learn it ourselves. That's a topic for another day. I will leave you be. I love you all. Find something more with God. Do something selfless for others with love and have a blessed and inspired day. Preferred.